We're gonna do a quick video here. Rooster here in Tennessee. Uh, it's a BM Technology one pill modulator. This one's got a single DEI 2290 in it. It does pretty good. It does have a fan built on top. Powder coated case. It's a real small amplifier, just a real compact deal. Uh, great to use as a driver or if you've got a low power radio that you're uh, wanting to see get some get up out of it this is also great for that we'll go over here to the bird meter today we'll be testing into a dummy load uh, 500 watt scale so we'll be looking at the uh, middle scale I'll be using the Connex going into it Connex does about 35 watts peak maybe a little more maybe a little less we are running 14.1 volts. Our variable is wide open. Can less than 10 watts. Audio one, two, three. Audio one, two, three. Audio one, two, three. Hello, audio one, two, three. Audio. Hello, one, two, three. Audio test. One, two, three. Audio one, two, three. Audio one, two, three. Then 125, 130 watts. I think I sold somebody 150 the other day. I'm, may have overestimated just a little bit but I hadn't tested these things yet we'll go down all the way on it the carrier went down to almost nothing hello audio one two three audio one two three audio one two three audio one two three audio 60 to 75 watts all the way down we'll turn it up and just for kicks we'll go to average audio one two three audio one audio one two three audio almost 50 watts average there it is uh, I'll pause this video, I guess, and uh, I'm going to put a different radio on here to show you what it did with the low power radio, just for those interested. Uh, I got a 148, I think it does about 11 or 12 watts, so I'll give you an example of what this thing will do for a uh, lower powered radio. Let me pause this video, and uh, I'll be right back, but that was again with a high powered radio, Connex. 35 watts export we'll uh, test it out with this Cobra 148 here see what it does all right I'll be right back thanks okay so we're back on the video here uh, this same Cobra 148 that I used in a uh, 250B video a couple days ago so our amp is off we're on a 25 watt scale here which will be the top scale Audio one two three audio one two three audio one two three audio one two three audio so 10 12 watts uh, output out of it what we'll do we'll just pop this scale out slug out excuse me put the 500 watt back in we are still on peak power the modulator on Audio one, two, three, audio one, two, three, audio one, two, three, audio test one, two, three, audio test one, two, three. Hello, audio one, two, three. So 70, 75 watts. That's all the way up. Hello audio one two three hello audio one two three audio test one two three audio one two three so basically let's see if that thing will even peg out a 25 watt slug turned all the way down 
Let's see here. Hello, audio. One, two, three. Hello, audio. One, two, three. Audio, audio, audio. So we can turn this thing all the way back. And uh, we basically turned our 10 watt radio into a uh, 20 watt radio. So that's pretty cool. Uh, different kind of use for the modulator. Just goes to show you don't have to uh, use it at its full potential. But if you do with a uh, 10 or 12 watt radio, hello audio, one, two, three, hello, one, two, three, audio, one, two, three. You're looking at 70, 75 watts. Uh, with the X port, we were looking at, what, 125 watts or so, 130, I think. So not bad, but that's the difference um, in a 10 watt radio versus a uh, 35 watt radio. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you have any questions, comments, complaints, you can shoot me an email. These are available uh, on eBay. Really good amp, I think. Especially if you're looking for a nicer option to the uh, something like a Texas Star. You get you something with a fan on it, something that runs cool. And uh, there you go, some good old BM technology. Alright guys, catch you later. 73s, blah blah blah.